coming up next, we have Merlin Glenn. He said he's, a, he's an ex-pivot VMware dude. <laughs> Here we go. That's about a good enough classification. And then it'll start as soon as you push the button. All right, man. I, I thought I was going to have like the sole rights to the only Cohen Brothers content in a presentation, but we'll, we'll dig through this and see. So we're going to talk about CFCR, Cloud Foundry Container Runtime. Uh, and hopefully my slides will start running here. Um, so, yeah, here we go. So really, one of the fallacies we want to talk about is, is Kubernetes really easy to run? That's, that's what Cloud Foundry Container Runtime is doing for us. It's making, us easy, it's making it easier for us to run Kubernetes, run applications, and run them in production. Right? We want to talk about production. And it's a fallacy to think that it's easy, because there's a lot of things that we have to look at when we want to run it in production. You know, how do we keep it available? How do we scale it? How do we patch it? You know, how do we do all those things that, um, that an operator needs to do to make sure that software runs and stays up in a stable? So in, in walks CFCR, and it's really a set of tools that makes, you know, makes us one guy, uh, the dude, that gives him the ability to be able to help the development teams and run Cloud Foundry, and, excuse me, run Kubernetes in production. And he needs some tools. He needs some special kind of tools. He needs something to be able to, to help him tie everything together. And, and one of those tools is Bosch, right? So when we talk about CFCR, CFCR is built on top of Bosch. You know, it's just the engine, the little engine that can or the little engine that could. And Bosch gives us some abstractions. It gives the dude the ability to deploy software pretty much on any IIS. And not only does Bosch, you know, give us the, the multi-IIS capability, but it gives us this packaging format, these Bosch releases that we could take Cloud Foundry Container Runtime and make it a, a packageable component that we could repeat it across any IIS. Now, it's not just the software. I mean, it's not just running Kubernetes itself when you want to run containers, but it's also what are those, you know, what, what, what are the stem cells? What are the base operating system images that these applications, these pods have to run on top of? How can we abstract those too? And that's, you know, in walk stem cells. But really, we don't care about all these components. In the end, the dude just really wants to keep what's important to him healthy, right? So if these white Russians are the things that he, that he wants to keep, to keep healthy, those are his applications, he has the capability of availability zones, the capability of, of Bosch giving him some sort of a metaphor across these IASs to keep things healthy. Now, the dude has to also help a lot of development teams. And so things have to go beyond just the applications. These development teams want to run Kubernetes. They want to run many Kubernetes. So they want the ability to be able to scale these things to multiple iterations, multiple instances. And so the dude has to be able to give them the ability not only to request these clusters, but the ability to scale these clusters, to, to grow them in and out, to, to crud them, to create them, read them, update them, delete them, uh, and do it in a self-service manner so he's not always having to do the work because he's, you know, I wouldn't say a lazy guy, but he wants to be an ingenious guy. Um, so you also want to make sure that things stay healthy. You know, when things go bad, when things die, um, Bosch and CFCR is keeping our Kubernetes clusters healthy. It's always tracking the state of things to these agents across all of the scale, and it's given the dude the capability to be anywhere, uh, to not only keep these clusters healthy, but also to keep the clusters patched and keep them upgraded. So whenever the development teams need to move from one version of Kubernetes to the other, it's as simple as just putting in one of those new Kubernetes CFCR releases and, and updating the entire environment. Now, patching, I mentioned patching. Patching is a little bit of a special use case because that's something that's kind of hard to do, especially if you don't have those abstractions in place. So we talked about all these things with Bosch, the ability to be able to have a stem cell, the ability to be able to have a release. You also want the ability to be able to patch the applications themselves, the pods. You want to take a look. You know, the dude has to put the capability in for, for the development teams to be able to not do anything bad to break in the environment. So they got to have the ability to make sure that their images that they're running their pods on are clean that they're scanned, and then also the dude has to have the capability to say, hey, not only are your image is clean, but I'm giving you a clean environment. I'm giving you clean Kubernetes, and I'm giving you clean stem, uh, clean stem cells. So it's, it's this patch layered mechanism that the dude can just say, hey, I could take the entire environment and make sure it's clean and make sure it's stable. So you put all these things together, and you, know, you have to kind of tie stuff together. And Bosch by itself is a, is a really great tool, but we see that we put CFCR on top of it, and we can start deploying Kubernetes at scale and keeping it up and running. But you, you're going to need other things in the environment. You know, the dude has to be able to bring other capabilities into his enterprise to run Kubernetes in production, like you know, enterprise-grade registries to do some of those scanning of the images, or uh, let's tie in you know, uh, software-defined networking so that we can put security tied into our Kubernetes API. You know, all these different extra components in the environment on top of CFCR, and we kind of wrap all that together at VMware and Pivotal with something we call Pivotal Container Services. 
So it's a little bit of a product story that we're talking about here on top of the, the CFCR uh, runtime. Uh, but, but this is something we tie in together and we give these core capabilities to the dude to be able to run production-grade applications. Some of these key things that CFCR does for Kubernetes to be able to run them, keep the application lifecycle healthy, keep the Kubernetes lifecycle uh, life healthy, keep everything up and running. That's really what we want, something in production. And so that's what CFCR is. It's the ability for us to take that core technology, wrap it together with PKS, and allow people to run Kubernetes in production, tie it all together like a nice rug. Thanks. Thank you.